Yoimiya is Genshin Impact's newest 5-star character, and her release marks an expansion in Genshin Impact's ever-growing roster of Pyro main DPS characters. With such a large group of competitors, players are likely curious about how Yoimiya stacks up against other characters and whether she is worth rolling for. Before You Wish is a video series dedicated to noting the good, bad, and ugly of characters in Genshin Impact. Many aspects of the unit are not apparent to the average Genshin player even after playing them in the trials, due to the inaccurate testing environment that can make characters seem better than they truly are. Explicitly noting the pros and cons of these characters in full detail should inform you about how to push them to their highest potential and what it costs to do so. As always, if you enjoy a character for reasons like their voice actor, aesthetic, or personality, these videos are by no means meant to stop you from spending your primo gems on them. Instead, they should prepare you for the type of problems that you'll need to solve or work around to meet your gameplay expectations. Let's jump right into it. At a glance, Yomiya isn't an overly complex character. She has a simple game plan of normal attacking while on field and casting her elemental burst before swapping off. Yomiya also has the option of performing animation cancels that can be used to trigger more elemental reactions, but this technique is only applicable in specific teams and generally players will get the most mileage out of just spamming the normal attack button. Yomiya's elemental skill infuses her normal attacks with pyro and increases the damage of her normal attacks. This infusion lasts for 10 seconds. Due to the way Genshin Impact's internal cooldown system works, Yoimiya cannot vaporize every hit of her normal attacks, which makes her less able to take advantage of amplifying reactions than units like Ganyu and Hu Tao. Yoimiya's elemental burst deals an instance of pyro damage and applies a mark to the target. Whenever the marked enemy is hit by one of Yoimiya's teammates, regardless of if the teammate is on field or not, an explosion will occur, dealing AoE pyro damage. This explosion can occur once every two seconds, However, because of ICD, Yoimiya can only vaporize every other explosion unless damage is intentionally delayed by half a second. Yoimiya is built to function as an on-field DPS, with a burst that allows her to continue dealing damage after swapping off to allow her teammates to cast skills and recharge their bursts. Similar to Child, who has an even longer downtime than she does, Yoimiya doesn't work particularly well in dual carry teams. During her DPS window, Yoimiya's single target pyro damage is pretty high, and she has flexibility in what teams she can be played in. Additionally, Yoimiya is very simple to play, as you can just normal attack to reach her maximum potential in most teams, with her range and auto-targeting allowing her to hit many targets without chasing after them. Lastly, she is super flexible in terms of team choice. She can be played in an overload team, a vaporized team, a mixture of the two, and a pure pyro team which all have their own unique strengths and weaknesses. However, Yoimiya has flaws. First, her damage is almost entirely single target. Her burst does not represent a large portion of her damage, so it doesn't increase Yoimiya's AoE capability by a large amount. Second, as mentioned before, Genshin's elemental application mechanics make Yoimiya unable to vaporize a portion of her damage, which makes it more difficult for her to raise her damage ceiling. Lastly, she is replaceable in many of her teams, and other units can outdamage her easily. For example, while she can work as a normal attacker to proc Beidou's burst discharges, Genshin does not lack characters who can do the same, which lowers Yoimiya's value. However, this doesn't mean that Yoimiya is bad in these teams. She can certainly perform admirably, and while the damage that she deals might not match up to the ceilings of other characters, her damage isn't extremely low either. She is also very easy to play, as her normal attacks don't leave much room for optimization, and it's very easy to reach her maximum DPS potential by simply clicking and not getting interrupted. The main issue with Yoimiya is not that she is a bad character, but rather that she is a pretty unremarkable unit that does not significantly change how the game is played. For example, characters like Xiao, Hu Tao, or Kazuha all have parts of their kit that allow them to distinguish themselves from other characters. Rolling for Yoimiya will not make a player's account substantially stronger because other characters can provide more damage than Yoimiya at equal levels of investment or provide better utility than she can. Yoimiya simply lacks a distinguishing feature other than being easy to play. So, when should you roll for Yoimiya? Generally, if players are interested in rolling for power, Yoimiya isn't a great unit to roll for. 
There are many other four-star units who can perform just as well as she can in her role. She simply does not bring much value to an account, and having her is typically not going to be the difference between being able to do things like clear Spiral Abyss and not. However, Yoimiya can still perform well with investment and with good teammates, and her single target pyro damage, while not top tier, is still decent. Players who are interested in rolling her for reasons other than power level can still make good use of her, and her ease of use is a pro for mobile players and players who don't want to bother with complex combos or animation cancels. She can make use of popular and strong supports like Beidou, Fischl, Bennett, and Xingqiu, allowing the teams she's used in to be quite strong. Here's a quick recap. Her pros are that she is super easy to play, she can enable popular supports, she has flexibility in team comps, she has decent single target damage, and she has access to both a strong 4-star and a strong 3-star weapon, namely Rust and Slingshot. However, her cons are that she has lower DPS than top tier DPS units, she is limited to single target damage, she has low energy generation, her auto aim can be difficult to work with, and she is generally replaceable in many teams. Thanks for watching this quick overview of the Kating Mains Theory Crafting Staff's initial thoughts on Yoimiya. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and we will do our very best to answer.